Hey y'all. Okay, today I will be talking all about the different types of hair that I've used. I did these, I started my braid lock journey on the 21st of April, 21st, this year, um, maybe the 27th, but I think 21st. I've redone my hair, y'all, it is the middle of June, I've redone my hair four times since then. And the first time, I didn't braid the hair on tight enough, and it was the wrong color. The second time, I redid with itchy hair, also... Also, I, I had way too many locks. And when I went to, to uh, retighten my hair, I realized I'm like, mm, I kind of feel like I'm gonna rip up, rip some of my hair from the root. Um, and just, I didn't like it. They seemed way too small for me. So I took those out, redid them again, and then the ha hair was too itchy. I used the same hair that I used the, the second time, but I didn't even leave those in long enough for me to realize that, that, um, that they were itchy because I'm like, wow, these are small. I'm going to retighten them. And I just went ahead and took them out. So anyway, the third time the hair was too itchy. I kind of saw some of the Goldilocks over here. Is it Goldilocks? Goldilocks? I think so. Anyway, but the third time the hair was too itchy. And I had that in for like about a month or whatever. I have some pictures on my Instagram. Um, and so here the fourth time I went back to the first hair that I used, I just um, braided it on super tighter. And um, that's my biggest thing that I could say as a tip is to braid the hair on tight. Braid it as tight as you possibly can. Why? Because you plan on having these in for ever. Or maybe you're just trying out, it is a style. Either way, you don't want these falling off when you shower. You don't want them falling off when you're at the, the, in the ocean or at the beach, at, at the pool. You don't want these falling out and having to keep redoing them. You don't want that. So to prevent that, I, braid them on tight. Braid them on tight. This is the biggest tip that I'm going to give you. Braid them on tight. Seriously. Braid them on tight. And um, if you get tired, I'm going to just speak for myself. When I start to get tired, I start braiding a lot looser. I start not thinking about it. So if you're getting tired, get some rest. Okay? Or just keep it in your brain that you have to braid them tight. Alright, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm pretty sure you guys got, got the... the Y'all got it. Alright. So I'm coming to show you the different types of hair that I use. I was just saying that this hair, this is the first the first hair that I used, but a different color. Um, because I dyed my hair. Um I dyed my hair with the last itchy hair that I had in. I, I dyed it. Um, that's gonna be another video. But the ends of my hair ended up being dyed, um, but not every end. I didn't want to get all I didn't want to get my actual natural hair, so I kind of just did the um the extensions and some of my hair so I, I tried to get a color that matched the color which was honey blonde that i did and i think it matches pretty damn well um there will be a tutorial video on exactly how i did these um how i uh braid the hair on how i braid the extension onto my hair and then how i braid the hair all the way down because i use I use two different methods essentially when braiding the hair on here and then just when I'm just braiding this on I don't not it's not as serious um okay so I'm going to give you a couple of uh um notes about uh both packs of hair um the the first hair that I I use the one that I have in now is I got the both off Amazon um yes the first hair, I'm like, does this not have the company on it? Hmm. Y'all are going to want the company. Style Icon. This is what the bag looks like. I'm going to post them in the description, so don't worry. My camera's out of focus right now. But don't worry. I got y'all. I'm posting in the description. Come on, camera. 
come on. Anyway, this is what it looks like. This is the bag that you get. You get one pack. One pack. You get three packs, three of these pouches inside of a bag. And it comes in this. Um, it's kind of hard to show you because this is like the leftover or whatever. But it comes in this like uh, block or whatever. And the hair is pretty short. Like the first one I got was 12 by 12 by 12. Um, and the second time I bought it, I got like by like 14 for both for both companies I don't really notice a difference when you go up a size if anything they might just like fan it and stretch it out more but it kind of feels like you're getting got a little bit it doesn't really feel like they the hair is a longer length to me um but yes this is the color I got first time it's supposed to be natural black my hair is like a brownish like especially in the sun it starts to look a little brown so this black didn't do it it kind of looks like it blends in now but it didn't when I went into the sun you could totally notice so um boom let's see um the texture of that hair like I said is like this hair is soft it's not itchy I have it laid all over my back all over. it's not itchy the second hair that I'm going to show you is itchy don't get it if you don't want to feel the itch okay I even I'm pretty sure I saw a video that came up like how to take itchy hair away. It's supposed to, both of them are supposed to be human. This one actually feels like human. The other one feels synthetic. And I wear, if you go to my Instagram, you can look at all the synthetic hair I put on my hair. I wear a lot the plaited faux log, braid, the, all, all, all the things or whatever. And I know kind of what synthetic hair feels like. And I used to wear micro braids, micro locks back in the day. So I know what human hair feels like. It just didn't feel the same. One's way more itchy. So, boom. Um, the first, let me just give you more. The first before I go to the second. But da da, they slipped off. The, 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 the first time I did it because I didn't braid them all tight enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With this being more soft, it will be harder harder to braid on. You're gonna have that's why you're gonna have to like really ugh, ugh, braid it tight on there so that it doesn't slip off. Okay. Um. Yeah, so when I just Googled it, I didn't see the color, this color, just right off Google. I had to click on the name, um, their name, and then go to their little shop on Amazon. And then I found the color that I wanted up, up there. And again, I'm going to put the, the links, not link, but I'm going to put the description of what it is below. Um, okay, so D D D D. Do, 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 do. They all they all come with a um, crochet needle and these jewels, which I might put some on there now. But the the ones I did, the ones that I had on before this again, you can see it on my Instagram were a lot smaller, and that's the other thing tip I want to tell you guys. They were a lot smaller, right? So when I bra when you braid on the extra hair, know that know that your hair is going to fluff out. Okay, it's not gonna be you can if you've been doing your research, you peep out that they'll show you the when they started their locks and then how they look a year from now and they always fluff out. So if you don't plan on if you plan on keeping these in permanent style, you need to account for the fluff out. Okay, I didn't do that and in um so like this kind of looks uniformed, but with the other ones, especially the ones that I did in the back. Because some of mine in the back are, are a lot bigger than the ones in the front. Um, but I noticed that I didn't, uh, the extension that I braided on was, a lot, it was smaller. And the, the fluff out ratio wasn't going to happen properly. I really love the way, you can even look in my other videos um, about how these look way more fuller. And I did do them longer. And I also added on curly hair at the ends. Um. So that when my hair is straight right now, I, I did a, um, uh, what's it called? You can see my video on that as well. I did a pipe cleaner curls on these and I show you exactly how I do it from start to finish. Um, but yes, they, uh, I wanted to make sure that when my hair is straight, 
because when I had my hair straight before I wasn't really liking just how it looked straight I always felt like I had to curl it so that's why I, I added the curly end so that when it's straight it will it'll be fine I don't have to worry about it and I like the way it looked straight without any curls so that's cool um uh yes because that's another thing that I was curling it up and then when you get these wet the curls come right out so you know I like to spray my hair or whatever to fucking moisturize it because that's how it grows like all y'all should be making sure that you're keeping your hair sprayed if you care about your hair growing if you don't care let's just when you moisturize your hair that's what promotes growth it's what I'm learning so I'm gonna learn okay so here's the thing when I have these curls in it makes me not want to spray my hair with moisture as much because it makes the curls fall out and then it's straight here right <laughs> and uh, it's all curly down here which is also, it's also a look but it's just not the look that I I want curls from the you know what I'm saying that wavy look you can actually it actually kind of looks like because I did spray it yesterday but you can kind of see how right here at the root it, it fought like this side's not as bad but anyway um I think to cure that I'm gonna end up putting instead of using a spray bottle I think I'm gonna use a applicator bottle or whatever and put my like you know like that much water and however much oil and then just you know go on my scalp with the water and kind of just you know mush it in and then lightly and hopefully it doesn't knock the curl out too much I don't know we'll see maybe I'll do a video on that um back to the hair y'all I'm so sorry I get distracted mm. So, boom. This is this is the uh, when I did my hair the the last time I ended up ordering two different colors or whatever, even though all of it's itchy. But it ordered two different colors from Amazon because that's the thing when you're ordering from Amazon, you can't match it up properly with your hair color. Okay, so I got a uh, number two and a number four, and I figured um, um, if the number two is what my color is, what my hair needed. I'll do that in the front and then I can do the number four in, in the back and have like a little highlighted layer of look, whatever. But you can't even really tell. Oh, I guess you can. <laughs> yeah, you can tell the difference for sure. Um, but yeah, so I ended up putting this in my hair, the number two at first. Then I ended up dyeing it a honey blonde, then uh, which looked more like this. And so whenever, um, yeah, boom. But I ended up still putting some of these um, in the back, the number four. But it comes in a little four pack like this. I don't even know why you care because I'm assuming that you're not going to get this. Let me just break it down. I think I was mentioning earlier, I think I saw a video that like you can take the itch away from synthetic hair by using apple cider vinegar. I didn't watch the video so I don't know if it was one of those quick baby thingy whatevers. I don't know if it actually works. never tried it. But... This hair grips a whole lot better. A whole, whole, whole lot better. Then, uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like. It comes in this little hair net or whatever. That's what keeps it contained. And you just pull that off like that. And you can see you can kind of just separate it and work in sections. Um, do you see, like, I don't know if I could spread it out and you can kind of see, like, how the hair is literally have to like take off a piece like this boom and then take that and then braid it on this hair braided on a lot easier and braided on a lot tighter because it's more uh kinky um but again it's hella itchy so i do not recommend this if you don't want the itch but if you want the grit uh this would be the one to go for um and if you can get lucky taking away the itch with some outside of vinegar maybe it'll work for you um let's see da, 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 da. people are mentioning in the comments on both hairs that the even if you get like a 16 inch 18 inch whatever there's not much of a difference and they're complaining about the um, larger sizes not being the size that they say they're gonna be. Um, so I just finished installing these literally like two, three days ago, so I have not washed them yet. 
um, because I did end up like this is a whole lot more than the other ones like I divide just check out my other videos check out my Instagram you can see the other ones are a lot they're not as thick as these um so yeah I'm just wondering how long the, the they're gonna take to dry I feel like it'll take like a day to dry honestly just because of how much it is but we will see and I will come back with another video that basically shows you my maintenance and my upkeep and uh how these are going I'm gonna uh stay consistent posting videos bi-weekly um maybe every other week uh just on my journey and how these are growing out i plan on keeping these in y'all this is my favorite hairstyle that i have done to my hair thus far okay i love it i love 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 it and literally every other hairstyle that i've done in my hair i i do it with the intention of making it look as natural as possible because that's the vibe i'm going for i want my hair to look like it's growing from my scalp and the, the best compliment that i get from people is oh my god girl how long has your hair been growing oh how long have you had like not like oh is that your hair i don't get is that your hair i get how long is your hair i love your hair so cute girl uh -uh. so well, they, I love your hair. You can say that to anybody with big hair. But specifically, the how long have you been growing your dreads? How long have you been growing your hair? You know, I'm like, wow, from my own people. You know what I'm saying? That's what I know. Like, oh, yeah, you did that. You just, you can go check my, I'm not trying to toot my own woman. You know, you got to stay humble. It just makes me feel good when I know that the intention I set came across well to other people. Like, the same with this. I feel like. The intention and how this hairstyle manifested for me even though it took me four attempts but I am in love in love with the way this looks how it makes me feel PSA if you're thinking about oh I don't want to get braid lock extensions because I don't want people to judge me girl we put hair all kinds of fake hair in our head 24 7 all damn day long start your journey Start your lock journey. Start your journey. And here's the thing that I love about these, and this is why I even did braid locks, right? Because I can take them out. They're not permanent. I was actually watching a video from another girl who, she wanted to change the size of her. That's what really made me even jump on this, because she wanted to change the size of hers after having them in for a year. So I said, what? You've had them in for a year, and you're just... And honestly... Because I've been doing my, my, my searching on these uh, locks. And you can pretty much comb out all the locks. Doesn't matter what. So essentially, none of them are permanent. Essentially, they're not permanent. To me, permanent means I can't take it out. That means I have to cut it off. And from everything that I'm seeing, whether you get it matted, uh, palm rolled, interlocked. Mind you, I interlock my roots um, on on these and I redid like five of them I wanted to combine them or whatever to get the proper amount of locks that I want I'm gonna reveal to y'all how many locks I have it's my favorite freaking number I ended up uh, having a certain amount and then I was like wow that's one number off from my favorite number I literally have it tattooed on my hand I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is well I will eventually in, in another video but not right now anyway um, yes, that concludes this video. I'm sorry for talking so long, y'all. Uh, I hope y'all have a lovely, wonderful day and you start your log journey. And I will put the description of everything in the link below. Please like and subscribe, please. I'm not, please, if you care, if you, if you, if you enjoyed this video, if you vibe with me, all right, I'm done.